And we are back live from this beautiful atrium of the Ronald O. Perlman Heart Institute, which sits right in the heart of our hospital and is located on the floor where all our cardiovascular services are. And uh, I'm so privileged to have with me tonight Dr. O. Wayne Isom, who is our chief of cardiothoracic surgery. He, Dr. Isom, has, under his leadership, we have just celebrated our 30,000th heart, heart surgery patient here, which is an amazing accomplishment. And uh, what do you attribute to that? How did you have such a enduring well, world-class program? Well, I think, Holly, uh, everybody's touched on it tonight, and you did too. It's the collaborative, or I call it team approach. And it's, it's like, you can, if you're gonna fly from New York to Los Angeles, and you've got the best pilot in the world, you gotta have a co-pilot, air traffic controllers, you've gotta have uh, somebody checking the altimeter to the gas if you're gonna get good results. And that's what we have here. And probably from top up, I can say nurses, aides, the people cleaning the floors, the, the, the dietary, the, the nurses, the nurse practitioners, the cardiologists, cardiac anesthesiologists, that all makes a difference and that allows you to do that many. I do think this is a very special place with respect to collaboration like that and in and, and recognition by you of all those people. It's just, it's, it's, it's inherent to our program. It's inherent to the personality of this place. Well, it's, you gotta have good results. In this country, you can decide where you wanna go to get your care, at least for now. So you've, you've, you've gotta get results. People vote with their feet. They come here because they know they're gonna get good care. Even though we're on the cutting edge of everything, we are not experimenting on our patients. We look at evidence-based medicine and, and try to practice accordingly. We're not gonna do something that's completely experimental on one of our patients. So we're at the cutting edge, but we're not gonna experiment on them. The thing that this place adds, the Perlman Heart Institute, is the extra, one of the things that's missing sometimes, especially in a big city hospital, is the personal touch. And this allows us to do that. It allows us to take care of the families, the support groups, as Dr. Krieger mentioned. That makes all the difference in the world in, in whether a patient survives and in, in how they do postoperatively. Surgery is just a small part of it. It's very important, but the evaluation of the patient, the support of the family makes a difference. The other part is that I've been amazed this is the third day it's open in our, our counseling and prevention area. The first day there were 40 people. I think you told me there were over 100 today. So what we're trying to do is take care of the patient, not just that particular disease, but the patient as a whole and the family and prevent them from coming back. You know, it's so true. Sometimes patients, you know, patients come in with a heart attack or they come in for bypass surgery and they're gone five days later their families and their friends are a very captive audience that day to try to teach them about prevention, teach them about this disease. And uh, this wonderful gift by Ron Perlman is going to enable us not just to care for the patient, but the patient's family and to help them throughout their difficult time here and for the rest of their lives. Yeah, this, this is a long-term plan. And in, in, in finally, in conclusion, what I have to say is sort of dovetails with Dr. Krieger said, we're not just trying to make people live longer. We look, want to look at the quality of life and make them live longer, better. That makes all the difference. It's not just doing the case and going home. Well said. Well, thank you for tuning in tonight. Thank you for joining us. We've had a tremendous amount of fun, and we're very excited about the establishment of this institute. We hope it expands upon our expertise. And as Dr. Isom just said, one of our responsibilities and focus is to increase uh, education and increase our, si our society's understanding of this disease because we know doing so will save lives. Thank you very much.